Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be a city shaper video, but Misty Hino's going to incorporate some mathematics in it. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Okay, everybody, let's get down to the nitty gritty. This video is for you coaches to hopefully educate and inspire your team to get on the ball. Sorry, that sounded too harsh. Anyway, this video, I'm just going to go ahead and explain some mathematics and hopefully inspire and to get some teams to jump on the bandwagon here and make sure you're practicing smart. So let me go ahead and show you this. I have broken up your qualifier into three parts. So if you guys did not know this or you forgot, your competition is broken up into three parts. The robot game, the core values, and your project. So now, here is what your team wants to avoid. Are you ready? If your team is doing this, give me a comment down in the comment section. Just say, Mr. Hino, I hear you. Our team is just spending way too much time on the board. And what I mean by the board, the robot game board and not the presentation board. But if your team is spending too much time on one aspect, and I get it, you're going to say, but Mr. Hino, the robot is so much fun. It's just so hard to put my robot down and do any other part of the competition. You're only focusing on one third of your competition. Okay? So... When you go to your competition and do not, and you have not done your project or your core values, you guys are not going to qualify. I'm just sorry, it's not gonna work. You're forgetting about the two thirds and you're only focusing on the one third. And if I do my math right, one third is not better than two thirds. So your team is just gonna have to focus on all three aspects and Coaches, know it's not your job to have some kind of stopwatch and say, all right, guys, our robot game's over. Go. Shouldn't have to do that. Students, that's up to you. Students, if your practice is, let's say it's an hour and a half, you guys should be, and you know, you could break it up by day too, so you don't have to do it this way. But you can say, guys, we have 90 minutes. If we divide 90 by three, we have 30 minutes, so we have 30 minutes to work on the robot game, switch to the project, switch to a core values. Now I get it, um, you know, core values, it's really tough to know what you're practicing for, but you know, you can be practicing some core value act values activities where, you know, you guys have to get along, you have to complete a task, but your practices should not be 90 minutes robot game, the next day 90 minute robot game, the next day, 60 minute robot game and five minutes core values. I love the way that first scores the competition. They're going to say, did you do everything equally? Is your team well-rounded enough that you guys, we can see evidence that your team practiced everything. Your team, when you went to your competition, brought it all to the table and not just your robot game. And plus, there is some qualification expectations, which means you guys can have the very top robot game score, but if you do not score in the top 40% of your other categories, they're gonna say, oops, this team just concentrated on one thing. We do not want them qualifying and moving on and being a disaster. They're gonna send the most well-rounded teams to your qualifying events and, you know, your, your state regional championships or what have you. So just a reminder, coaches, you can show this video and they can, they can point the finger at me and say, oh, that must, you know, it's just messed up and mean. But I'm just telling you the truth. Your team needs to practice all three things, everybody working together to get everything done. You cannot imagine first year teams, how much work this takes. It's a boatload of work. And this year I have three teams. So I'm, I'm we're having to do all kinds of work. I mean, it looks like a factory in my class where everybody's just running around trying to get things done. Well, not necessarily running around, but you know, we're 
you should not have people sitting around. There should be somebody always be doing something to help get your team ready for your qualifier. Okay, guys? Was I too mean? Huh? Was I too much? Anyway, hopefully you're still having fun because that is the key um, within everything. But not too much fun as far as, you know, we're only doing the robot game. Eh, we hate the project. Make sure you guys do everything to be well prepared. Okay, guys? I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. Thank you.